what's up guys welcome back to another video um yes i'm wearing the same clothes what film two videos back to back just kind of do them the same day because i had already planned to do the uh this mod today but um today we're going to be doing a light bar in the lower grill um i've been wanting to do this because i'm you know i had a big 50 inch across the top of the truck on my old truck. Real bad howling, just stuff down the highway. Got got real old real quick. Um, this truck I wanna kinda keep a cleaner, um, simpler look. And so I'm gonna put a light bar down there and it's gonna kinda be discreet and uh, but still be there when I need it. But yeah, so um, I ordered a 42 inch light bar um, to go down in there. Um, I've seen that that's what people are using or that's what they recommend. It's going to be perfect supposedly. So we're going to try that out. Um, I want to make this video because I wanted to do this, but I haven't seen video. I mean, I've seen videos of people showing them already installed, but nobody's showing actually how to install them. Cause unless you want to spend a lot of money, you have to make it yourself. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to make our own brackets and, and install it down there. Here is the light bar. Um, like I said, got a 42 inch light bar. Um, my tip, guys, is to go to Amazon. Um, I paid close to about 60 bucks for this. And when you buy them from a big name brand, you're gonna spend a lot of money and these work just as good. They might not work as long or, you know, whatever, but they will get the job done. They'll, they'll be enough for what you need. So yeah, so this is a 42 inch curved light bar. I got the flood spot combo. Uh, this is MIC tuning, like I said, Amazon. Uh, if you have Prime, it ships and is delivered within, you know, two day free shipping and whatnot. It comes with all the uh, hardware and stuff. So for this installation, um, you are gonna have to build it yourself. So what I did was I went and got a piece of 3 8 inch thick aluminum and uh, went and uh, cut it at my buddy's house, cut it to about the length that I need. Um, just got two really long bolts because this is what is gonna attach the aluminum to the frame. Uh, a couple washers, nuts. they gotta be this long just because um, I'll show you later that there's no easy way to get to the inside of the frame. It's boxed all the way around, so this is gonna be long enough to go through one side and out the other. So guys, the first thing we need to do is pop out the plastic. Um, isn't too hard. There's some plastic tabs on the back that you kind of have to push out, pop out. Shouldn't be too hard. We'll take a little bit of prying, a little bit of maneuvering, but shouldn't be too too bad. All right, guys, up under the uh, front of the truck now. Like I said, there's a tab over there. I've already kind of started to maneuver it out. And there are tabs all along here, top and bottom, all the way across, and then of course, one more tab on that other side. You just have to pry those out of there, maneuver them out, and then uh, shouldn't be too bad on you. So we'll do that. There it is, all popped out, you can see. So you might wanna clean that up a little bit just because some of it may be visible um, with the light bar. So you might wanna clean that up just a tad. Now I have heard of people cutting these out I'm not a huge fan of cutting into the truck, so I may leave them in and see how that goes. Might just stick the light bar out a little bit more, but not too bad. All right, guys, so there we have drilled our holes. Um, and these don't have to be perfect because they are under the truck as long as the light bar lines up in the end. And you can do that, um, get that right whenever you start to work on drilling the other holes. So guys, I went ahead and measured it out and drilled the holes for the bolts that attach to the um, frame. Uh, you will probably need somebody to hold the light bar up there while you get up under there and take the measurements and mark where you need to drill. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and did that. Um, I will say on the first holes, I did end up having to go to a one fourth just so that it was big enough for the, um, the screws to go in. And then I used a three eighths because that's uh, that's the uh, size that I need for this. So yep, so got all the holes drilled and we're about to see if we can't put it on. Um, ready to start kind of assembling everything. I've got my wiring harness here. This is an old one that I had off of some light bars in my old truck. 
Uh, I had light bars all over that, so I've got plenty of wiring harnesses. So it does have a positive and negative to the battery. And then it goes into your ground right here. So you can just find a place on the truck against metal on the inside of the engine bay to uh, attach that to. And then it comes down and comes around to the switch here. So this I will feed through a plug um, through the firewall and into the truck. On the other end, we have the positive and negative um, and we will be using um, male and female connectors. We will be putting those, some on here, as well as some on the ends of the light bar so that we can connect those. Um, most of the wiring harnesses you can find off eBay for like 10 bucks. Um, I've never had an issue with them other than, you know, ruining them myself. For the most part, they normally hold up. Um, pretty easy to assemble as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, you can twist these up, just make them a little bit tighter so that they don't fray or split trying to go in there. But I'm gonna just drop them down in there like that. You don't want them coming out too far. Uh, let's see if we can get that to focus. So I have it sticking out a little bit on the end um, just enough and then we're going to take our pliers and uh, make sure the pliers are flat we're just going to squeeze give it some good give it some good strength to it uh, you want this to get to a point that it will stay and not come off and uh, not pull off and we're going to do same for the other one So, and once again, make sure the pliers are flat, a little bit sticking out, and squeeze. There you go, we got the male ends on the wiring harness done. Now we are going to move to the light bar. Alright guys, so here is the light bar installed. So this is what I was saying. Um, when you get up under the truck, there's this frame part, but it's completely boxed in. So I went and had to get, I think it was about a six inch long bolt that went one through one side and out the other that was long enough. Um, but yeah, so then that goes out and just mounts onto the side. And then we've got the wire that we're about to uh, wire up. But you can see the light bar going all the way across. And then same thing over there. So here is the light bar on the truck. Again, there are some plastic pieces up in here, about right there. And there's a couple all the way across. Um, I didn't want to cut those out, so I did mount them in front. Um, so you get a little bit of a stick out, but it's not bad. And I'll probably end up spray painting these black um, just to kind of hide those or make them blend in a little bit better. But there it is, looks pretty, pretty clean, pretty nice. Now for the wiring harness, um, you are gonna have to connect to the battery and then there's a hole in the firewall um, right there that you can access through the inside of the truck if you come up under here it is right here so I don't like to cut any of these rubber pieces but you can just peel it back a little bit and uh, then close it on the wire and then you can run it up run your switch up through here guys I actually decided to put it through a different hole in the firewall I saw that there was already a hole from the cable for my base system, so and it was easy. Um, so in relative or to the engine bay, it's just that top right hole. You can kind of poke that rubber out and just kind of feed it through there. Um, a little bit higher up, maybe a little bit of a better seal, but um, but yeah. So it goes through there and then comes out 
right through there. Um, and like I said, you can push that plug back in and it'll seal up a little bit better. And then as the, the switch comes out, you can wire that up wherever you want, however you want, you know, whatever, whatever you decide fits your truck and what you want best. I do recommend um, taping them up separately at first, um, just because you don't want any metal touching uh, when you plug it into some power because you could short circuit um, the light or the wiring harness and you're just losing money at that point. So I tape one up individually and then once I know that I've got power and everything's live and that it works, I will wrap this up one good time because you want to make sure it's good and sealed so that no water gets in um, and damages your light or the wiring harness or more importantly even your truck. So the uh, light bar is fully installed at this point. Um, took about two hours roughly just because um, I had to figure out some things on the fly. But I showed you all the brackets, all those were good. Um, like I said, I might clean them up with a little bit of paint. But uh, so the wiring comes straight up through there. You can see the wire coming. It comes up through there. And um, I bundled up a lot of the access and kind of cleaned it up with some zip ties and uh, tucked it up in a spot that it won't be uh, rubbing on anything in the engine or it's kind of out of sight or out of, you know, where it'll be in any damage to the truck or something will damage it. And then that wire comes right over here to the ground. And so I used uh, just a bolt that's in the side of the uh, truck here. And then uh, that goes over here to the positive and negative, like so. And then the last wire to the switch comes this one down here. Bundled it up, came right through there. I'll show y'all uh, that it works. So I just kind of zip tied my switch right up there. There's a hole right underneath there. I just reach up there and flip that on. And there it is. Can't really tell how bright it is in daylight, but I'll see if I can't get some uh, shots at night at some point. All right, guys. So uh, there was the 42-inch curve light bar lower grill mount or install video. Um, not too many out there. Not too many videos out there that really show you how to do that. So that's why I wanted to uh, really go in depth on that. But yeah, so um, if you could please like and subscribe, trying to get this channel going just a little bit, um, see where it goes. So, uh, but that'll do it. Thanks and giggle.